Six months ago, if somebody asked who was Rachel Blackmore, they'd say she was a lady jockey. If you ask them... Don't ruin the Oh, come on, come on. Uh, well, hello, I'd like to welcome all our parishioners, killing all and my last to this occasion here today. Uh, a lovely sunny evening and I'm delighted to welcome our our hero. I nearly called her a sports star, of course, she's a, a super sports star by now. Uh, we were making a presentation here to Rachel Blackmore and uh, we just discussed it a second ago. If someone asked me six months ago who Rachel Blackmore was, I do back a few horses in that, so I know a little bit about Rachel, and I would have said she was a, a lady jockey. Ask anyone in the parish now who Rachel Blackmore is. She's no longer a lady jockey. She is a leading jockey, not only in Ireland, but probably in England as well. Uh, in the parish here, we we were... Only too delighted for her heroics over in Cheltenham entry. And for a while there in March and April, it felt like that Rachel was actually in all our sitting rooms because no matter what you've done, turn on the television, she was either being interviewed, riding horses, falling off of horses, or talking to Ruby Welsh and those. So it was quite a checkered couple of weeks. and uh, Living in Lock and Bridge in Carlow. Yeah. Near enough bag... Close enough to Bagless Sound, but not quite yet. Lachlan Bridge. Are you a Carlo supporter now? No, no, no. There's only one place. My heart will always be at home in Tipperary. Don't worry. Don't worry. Rachel, I'm sure you're sick of talking about racing, but I'd like to ask you, apart from racing, had you a, a hero sports star growing up? Yeah, Sonia O'Sullivan, I think. Uh, I remember watching her in primary school. They were all packed into the lunchroom, uh, watching one of her many races. Um, so, yeah, she was definitely someone I looked up to uh, as a kid anyway. Well, just to let you know, she won her first big race here in Kilnall, up on that hill up here. Uh, the year, I can't pick on the year now. Ago. A long time ago, she was only 17 years of age. Uh, you, you come from a parish that's steeped in tradition of of horses and uh, GAA. Have you any interest in the old GAA? No, look, I, I jump on the bandwagon there towards the end if, if things are going well, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, I uh, it's always been, always been more the equine side of things that I've kept my eye on. Well, I was going to say to you, if you were interested in, and if Tipperary got to the All-Ireland final this year, we might be able to see our way to send you and your partner to Croke Park. You, you seem to be declining that offer now. No, no, that, that definitely classifies as jumping on the bandwagon towards the end, so we'd, be, we'd, we'd love that. Uh, you had phenomenal success in Cheltenham. Now, I have to tell you, you weren't the first Kilnall person to have phenomenal success in Cheltenham. You can't remember, your mother probably can remember, back to 1963, the last time we had a, an equine hero here in Kilnall. It was a horse by the name of Winning Fair, trained by uh, George Spencer. Can, can, have you heard those stories? I've heard those stories, yeah. Um a connection of Jamie Spencer, I think, yeah. So I've definitely heard those stories. My dad was filling me in on them a while ago. Now we're going to make our first presentation here, and it's a montage of your success at Cheltenham. And I'd like to thank Cassie Healy down there in Healy Racing for putting this together. So I'm going to ask our local hardware merchant there, John Lair, to make the presentation. John? They're absolutely fabulous. They are. Oh, my God, they're amazing. They're so, so amazing. They're unbelievable, yeah. Stay safe Thank and you. More Thank success. you. They're so, so stay nice. Stay in the saddle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't stay in the saddle. I stood in the saddle for all these ones. I know, I know, but that's the ups and downs of it. That's the ups and downs of it. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. You should book back that day anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did she, did, she didn't lose a few pounds for you and Shetland, did she? Oh, sure. I don't ever put that much <laughs> pressure on her. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, right, we'll, 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 we'll motor on. Now, uh, I'll call now on uh, Michael Cormick of Arda House. And just to remind everyone, the two lads here tonight are representing all the sponsors from uh, the parish. And we've had many from all walks of life, from builders, publicans, shopkeepers, butchers, you name it, we've had it here uh, in, in this sponsorship. So, Michael, I'll ask you now to present uh, Rachel with her entry montage. Oh, can we see? They're so amazing. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, but they're good. Um, well, we hope we'll be able to do it again for you in, in, in the future again. Know, and they know, have yeah, yeah. I'll have to get a very big house for all well, these now. Well, you keep writing with us. We'll keep yeah, presenting yeah, yeah. to you. I'll yeah, build it. I'll build it. It's fantastic for the, for the parish. <laughs> I have a man to build it over there now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank Thanks you. Thanks again. Thank Congratulations. You. And he has something to do. I backed you three times in Cheltenham on the second day of the festival. You fell the three horses on the three races. So with that in mind, with that in mind, we said we'd make a, a little presentation to the injured jockeys oh, fund, so, so and hoping, yeah. hoping you won't ever have to hoping use it, which are some somebody at some stage yeah, so will nice. use it. Again, it's only a small appreciation. That's, not, that's unbelievable. Thank, thanks, lads. So, so good. Thank you. Hold on to that anyway. Yeah. And hopefully, yeah. and hopefully, it won't bounce. So, Rachel, I'll ask you if you want, if you want, if 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 you want to say a few words. Uh, and again, I said the sponsors were from all walks here in the parish, and um, I like knowledge myself at a at a later date. So, if you want to say a few words, uh, thanking the people or whatever, and maybe if you could give us a, a few winners as well, to be no harm. <laughs> oh, look, uh, I. It's incredible the support that Kilnall has given me. To be honest, um, it's been unbelievable. Like it really has. I after after Cheltenham, and I was able to see uh, you know posters and windows and stuff driving down through the town, and it's phenomenal. Like it it means so much to me, and and this is extremely extremely generous to the Injured Jockeys Fund. Um, it's an extremely important that we have the Injured Jockeys Fund. Um, as you say, I, I was I hit the deck a few times in Cheltenham, but luckily I was okay after it. So this really means a lot and is very very generous. And uh, yeah, just a big thanks to to everyone for all their support. It means so much when you have a coming from your from your hometown. So thanks everyone. Girl Rachel, and um, be, before we get in the round of applause there, before we go any further, I'd like to thank the real organizer here was uh, our good curate here, Father Jimmy. Father Jimmy was supposed to make that presentation, but he, he couldn't be here. He probably interfered with one of these games of golf. And I'd like to thank your mother over there as well, who liaised with me in making this uh, presentation. So hopefully, hopefully, this may be the first of many. And wouldn't it be great to have you back again next year? And I'll make the promise, if you, the full deck, win the Gold Cup next year, and we'll have you parading, parading there like, win, like winning fair. We'll have you up in a lorry, up and down the street. And I'd also like to invite you back at some stage when all this our lockdown is over and we can have a right old bit of a party here in town, if that's possible. So for, to everyone in the parish again, I'd like to thank you for your support for this venture. It is only a small... Uh, appreciation of what uh, this girl done for, for the parish when we were all down when thing, our heads were down and we were worried about the coronavirus for a couple of weeks we forgot all about it so Rachel on behalf of everybody thanks a million thank you <laughs> the few and if I knew all of them were going to win sure I'd be able to give up now yeah. I'd be a millionaire yeah yeah what? your husband couldn't make it.